Jack Shepard. I'm an actor, a writer, director. Um, I, I've worked at uh, the Royal Court, the National Theatre, and from 1991, I think, 92, began to work at the uh, at, at Southwark Playhouse where I met Mehmet. Then he rang me and said, I found this old shirt factory in Dalston. Would you come and have a look? So I said, OK, and we met. And we went round the old Arcola, which was still a shirt factory. It still had um, a kind of mecha a mechanical trackway on the ceiling full of hangers where the clothes would be banged along so they travelled from space to space. Uh, upstairs was impossible, I thought, because the ceiling was very low and the space was very large. And downstairs was absolutely different. Then I've put, since then I've put on uh, a play of mine called Through a Cloud, a repeat of the jazz play, and another play called, a comedy called um, Only When I Laugh. This present one I'm in now, Home, is the, is the most recent. So I, I, I'm, I forget how many years ago, I, I, because Mehmet knew me very well, I knew the way my mind worked, wanted me on the board, so I've been on this very small board for, I guess, ten years, something like that. Yeah. Keeping an eye on things. At, at drama school in the 60s, the first thing we were taught was that you have to have a commitment to theatre. That's what you have to have first. Now they're taught you have to have a commitment to career. It's a big difference, a huge difference. What Mehmet has, and has always had, is a commitment to theatre. Doesn't care where he lives, doesn't care if he gets any money, you'll sleep on people's floors. He'll do anything just to get the plays on that he believes in and to present audiences with the kind of drama he thinks they're missing. If we're not careful, the play will die and be video games, God knows what, will take its place. All kinds of things are waiting in the wings to make the Americans a lot of money, which will kind of sweep the play aside. It's gone from television. There aren't any anymore. They don't exist. Very hard to run theatre in the provinces now. Not easy. Once you become an institution, everything starts to change. You, you know, you get things, you know, you get problems about sacking people. You get problems about shifting people around within a hierarchy. All these things start to emerge, which of course never, never appeared at the old archive because it was run um, completely on a ad hoc basis. You know, people, um, people who work behind the bar would do it for nothing. Mm -hmm. People who turned up to help would do it because they were interested in doing it, not because they were... It was part of their career. That's the... Perhaps that's one of the catches that's come in, you know, to do with theatre that isn't exactly helpful. Once somebody starts to see working in a theatre like the Arcola as a successful step forward in their career, everything starts to change. And if you're not careful, the theatre starts to run out of energy because it, it becomes a very successful touring venue. People want, want to play because, because it's in London, the citizens are very good, and the reputation is very good. But that dynamic energy that Mehmet has in the first five years cannot be there yeah. because it's a totally different financial situation. Everything, you know, the, 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 the man from the Arts Council now joins in the board meetings. Everything has to be absolutely four square. Well, Mehmet's always been on top of that. He's always been able to create a good relationship with the council, and he's put on the kind of workshops, uh, adult workshops, children's workshops, uh, integrated fully 
all the time, from the old October right, right to now. You see, the theatre has a very good catchment area in, in this. This is just up the road, for the very prosperous middle class people. And Hampstead's not so very far away, coming on the overground. So there's, there's going to be a good intellectual, um, cognoscenti uh, audience for things here. As opposed to integrating what happens in the main theatre with the Turkish community, that, that I don't think is, has happened. Uh, you might put on a special, but it, it, it's such a multiracial uh, group around here. You, you, from, uh, you, you, I don't see, you know, you, you're dealing with a kind of working, old fashioned working class prejudice against theatre, which is, you know, the alcohol is never, oh, it's, it's never going to shift. But I, I thought that this, the season of Viennese plays was inspired. They were very good, very well produced. I think it was a co-production with an Oxford touring company and things like that. But it, it was a very good idea and it was very successfully realised. <laughs>